Welcome to this week's Wednesdays in Prayer. We are giving God thanks once more for another time when we can come together for reflection and prayer. Today our scripture passage comes from Luke 15 verses 1 and 2. Now the tax collectors and sinners were all gathered around to hear Jesus. But the Pharisees and the teachers of the law muttered, and this man welcomes sinners and eats with them. This is the word of the Lord. In these verses, we catch a glimpse of the heart of Jesus. He was drawing close to people who were considered unworthy by society's standards. The tax collectors, notorious for dishonesty, and other sinners who were often avoided by the religious leaders. In response to Jesus' open-hearted approach, the Pharisees and teachers of the law muttered, judging both Jesus and the company he kept. They couldn't reconcile their understanding of holiness with Jesus' compassion for those they deem unworthy. This moment speaks to the essence of grace. Jesus didn't reserve his words, his presence, or his time for those who met certain standards. Instead, he welcomed anyone willing to listen and receive. He embraced the broken, the flawed, and the outcast, drawing near to them because they too mattered to God. This act of welcoming sinners wasn't a sign of compromise, but of God's radical love, one that transcends human judgment and reaches into the depth of every heart, no matter how messy. Through Jesus' example, we are reminded of the call to imitate his welcoming love in our own lives. When we look at those around us, do we see through a lens of compassion or do we mutter with judgment? Are we quick to welcome those who may feel isolated, unworthy, or judged? Like Jesus, we are invited to draw close to create a safe space where others can experience God's acceptance. By embracing others with humility and love, we reflect the very heart of Christ. This passage invites us to remember that we too are beneficiaries of God's boundless grace. Just as Jesus welcomed the sinners, he welcomed each of us, not because we were good enough, but because of his love. And that same love is what we are called to share with others, welcoming them as Christ has welcomed us. Amen. Today I invite us as we go to prayer to pray for a heart like Jesus. Let us pray. Lord, as we come before you today, we acknowledge your incredible love that meets us where we are even in our imperfections and flaws. Thank you for welcoming us with open arms, not because of anything we have done to earn it, but because of your boundless grace. When we read about how Jesus welcomed the outcast, the misunderstood, and the brokenhearted, we are humbled. We realize that we too have received the same invitation from you, a call to come close, just as we are. Father, we confess that like the Pharisees, we sometimes allow judgments to cloud our hearts. It's easy to see others through a lens shaped by our own fears, misunderstandings, or biases. We recognize that these tendencies prevent us from truly loving as you do. Forgive us, Lord for the times when we have withheld compassion, when we have been slow to offer acceptance, or when we have turned away from those who seem different from us. Renew our hearts, Father, and help us to let go of any pride or prejudice that hinder us from loving others as you love us. Teach us to see people through your eyes. Give us the grace to look beyond appearances behaviors are past mistakes and to recognize each person as someone deeply loved and valued by you 
May our hearts be softened and sensitive to those who feel left out, those who struggle with guilt or shame, and those who carry heavy burdens. Help us remember that they too are made in your image and are worthy of respect, kindness, and acceptance. Lord, we long to reflect the welcoming heart of Jesus. Let our lives be like open doors where others can find warmth, encouragement, and a listening ear. Grant us the humility to listen before we judge, to understand before we speak, and to offer comfort before we critique. Help us to truly love our neighbors as ourselves, embodying your grace in a way that draws others closer to you. In a world that often divides and labels, make us agents of your peace. Help us to be the kind of friends who remain steady, even when others feel unworthy or unlovable. May our churches and communities become places where people feel safe to be vulnerable, where they can experience your love through our words, actions, and presence. Teach us, Lord, to embrace those who feel distant from you, that they may see your light through us. We know, Father, that this work of loving as Jesus loved isn't always easy. It requires patience, humility, and a heart open to your Spirit's leading. So we surrender ourselves to you, trusting that you will give us the strength and wisdom to love others well. Mold us into people who reflect your kindness and mercy in every encounter. Let our lives shine with hope, compassion, and understanding that come only from you. In everything, May we always remember that we are recipients of your great love, and may that love overflow to those around us. We thank you, Lord, for the privilege of being your hands and feet in this world. May our lives be a testament to the truth that in Jesus all are welcome, loved, and redeemed. We pray this in the precious name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Thanks once again, friends, for joining us today. I'm Oral Campbell. God bless you. Until next time.